Subsector Aurelia. This cluster of worlds stands on the very edge of the Imperium of Man. From this frontier came the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own Space Marines. I can't hear the voice over here. <laughs> I can't hear him over the yelling. Which I was like, oh my everyone, God. Everyone, everyone's like, everyone yelling three, two, one. A handful of yeah. space marines lead the raw recruits defending these worlds. What were they thinking? Yeah, that was now. I just another know space marine screen, joins this invisible, desperate, desperate noise of the map. A newly oh, is this your guy? Is this Marcus Smolder? Ready to lead in yeah. our you didn't tell me how to fucking you staple over his eyebrow. <laughs> And you will tip the balance toward victory. Because he's a true hardcore Warhammer character, he has a bullet that was stopped by his own skull. <laughs> you know what it looks like? Have you ever seen geocaches? Those things that nerds put in parks? <laughs> you mean like the premise of like, oh, come on, go now? Yeah. It looks Commander like a Marcus geocache. Smo. That <laughs> you are Marcus Smo, Mark. a space marine recently promoted to the rank of force commander. You have been set to Calderas to help Captain Davian Thule slave off a massive orc invasion. Such is your reputation. The chapter expects that you alone will be enough to tip the balance of the fight. Well, That's bye. what do you think armies are? <laughs> you alone will tip the balance Calderas. of the entire army army war. <laughs> so it's more hammers. I don't know if it's, don't know if it's immediately from this world's fierce warriors. I think it's called the moment there's two characters. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind sitting back and letting you play the game and I just say funny now, shit. The yeah, that's how we got like through. From us. That's how we got it's through like all of Halloween. <laughs> it's like Secret of Mana Core. Oh, okay. I love Secret of Mana. Shit. What, is there going to be plot in oh, this yeah. scene, too? <laughs> the plot is my bullets. <laughs> I, I am the Warhammer. I think I, I, what I want to do is I want to go up to Davy and... To, to Marcus Smith's face and like just pull the bullet so much out. Better and, out in the open. And, yeah, and uh, this is definitely the in game render versus the. God, it's loud as shit. That's something you should fix on your end. I am going to fix this it on Captain my end, Davian but I don't want to alt tab. Here on this guy's name is Davian Thul. You have dropped right into the combat zone. I am north of you with several squads of our initiates. We that is the fear, that is the fog of war right there. <laughs> All right, so at one Move second I'm gonna I'm gonna alt tab and turn the game down so it's not disgustingly loud. Uh, this is one yeah, of those yeah, games I that I'm you. Also going to do that. This is one of those games where you alt tab and the game is like, oh fine, I'm just not gonna do anything now. Yeah, like, it wasn't fine. affecting me, but I, I looked over and I thought that the uh, well, well it doesn't affect the recording, but for the stream it might have been too loud. Uh, so I think this, yeah, I think we only have one character right now. Uh, oh, no, it you're... looks like, yeah, it you're looks like one. I can't play control Smith, but I can Tarkus. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun for forever. I can control Tarkus. Oh my Tarkus. god, Smo and Tarkus are both characters from Dark Souls. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Tarkus yeah. is the name of a, uh, of a song a by Emerson Lincoln Palmer. Yeah. All right, I'm going so to... Know, one, one thing to know about this game is when you click places, if you click behind cover, you get a little dot that shows the cover you'll take. And okay, you'll so I assume... Get... Green is a uh, is a uh, like full cover, and yellow is like half cover. Maybe, but at the very least, that there's a XCOM-ish cover system, but it's real time. Oh, okay. So we, so we can move forward and we can flank and so on to see. And we have like MOBA abilities because this is more of a MOBA than an RTS. Cool. You have like maybe two, especially in co-op, we'll have like two characters each total. Uh huh. At, at max, I think. That's really, uh, really cool, that's actually. pretty much your abilities. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Dawn, Dawn of War is fundamentally different from your traditional RTS base builder. Even in multiplayer, you just have a base where you don't build stuff. You just build units and upgrades from the one building you have. That sounds kind of like how Halo Wars worked. Yeah. Um, but, Basically. like, this is a little bit more hero-based than Halo Wars was. Yeah, it's funny because I'm playing Halo Wars right now with another person. <laughs> okay. Little, I think that what yeah. I need to do is I need to flank these guys. That would be one potential thing. Uh, can I can I switch to melee with these guys? I can. Cool. So I can I can I guess if you press. Let's see. L. So I've got Is that three what it looks like? Hits. I can revive squad leaders and heal people. Oh shit! I definitely want to fall back real quick. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Yep. 
See, I've got two victory. Choose a location and smash through objects and knock enemies back. Yes. Fuck you. There we go. They don't have cover now. Also, I'm standing in the middle of the war. <laughs> this is this is really cool. This is super different from Dawn of War One, which was a very traditional RTS that had horrible balance. Yeah. Uh, I remember there was this one unit in the original Dawn of War that belonged to the Tau, and in that game, the Tau could literally outrange any any other unit in the game. So you could just uh, kite everything infinitely for forever, and you would never lose. Yeah. Uh, it did have oh, a fucking amazing couple of tanks, though. There was the Lehman Rust tank, which was a, uh, a tank owned by the Imperium of Man. And what it did was every time it shot, the tank unit itself went back like three unit, like widths of itself. So you had to constantly like it. reposition it. It was like the opposite of a siege tank from StarCraft. Are you like rated level or something? You have like an arrow. Uh, I, I think, think I might be forward table to level. Yeah. yeah. Look at Mr. Grenades over here and also not cover. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I can take a fair amount there's of damage. No, there's sure. no downsides with this strategy. I just needed I needed to get close so I could toss a grenade at them, that's all. Did you get where you go? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> I'm just going to take cover with these other guys real quick before I die. That's probably a good call. Is there a way to uh, do like a flea action in this game? Like you move twice as fast? Uh, I don't know. I haven't played this game since it was brand new. Okay. 2012. Okay. I am taking the damages. I need cover before dead. I'm going to move over and toss another grenade up to these guys. My assumption is that expert is probably for people that like fairly liberally use their active abilities and stuff like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people stuff. that play these games don't really use their spell casters. Oh yeah, stance toggle switches between your uh, your ranged and melee. Yep. So... Okay. Uh, oh yeah, those fall back. Move immediately to the nearest rally point? Oh. Oh yeah, I have that. Take so, less damage. Take less range damage and greater melee damage. Okay, so it's good for running away. Um, yeah. You know, if you're not. So here's the proper target. I'm gonna come heal you. Yep. Thank you. And and me. I want. I think that that healing might actually apply to my whole squadron. Yeah, I just AOE the whole zone. Cool. That, I needed a heal. We only get three of those. So okay. we'll see. Uh, I, I mean, I'm down to just two grenades, but I think we get more as we move through, like as we accomplish objectives. Yeah. You have an active ability that isn't a uh, cooldown? Uh, I have tactical advance where I can move forward and not take um, uh, as much damage. I have a chainsaw. Wow. Look at Mr. Cool Orc over here. I guess I should switch up to melee to fight this guy. They are not like powerhouse badass looking orcs. They are very like... Goons. Yeah, well, I mean, you gotta you gotta fight the scrubs before you take on the cool orcs, right? Yeah. I, I find guess the that... cooldown for my ability is that I have to have 100% of my meter to use it. Oh. <laughs> Fuck y'all. So hey, they drop commander. items. But the green skins will not give us much time. Green skins. I need you and Sergeant Tarkas to take wow. the driving the orcs back. I mean, slurs aren't normally the smart. There's <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of fucking green skins over here. I, like, I don't know why. Their slurs for being, like, not subtle enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. We pick up stuff from these boxes? I think they're just here. You can't be so on the nose machine. about it. It's got to be, like, you got to, like, make fun of something <laughs> they eat. Or something like Excuse that. Excuse me, you know? I am a racism. I am a racism uh, uh, aficionado. <laughs> no, that's the word I was thinking of. All right, you I guess work your we got some ruins over here. Let me know when you're ready to uh, move. But I'm just gonna move straight to that waypoint that they're calling out in the game. Oh, so our gear we change between missions. Oh, ah, the tutorials are voice acted. Ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, scared. did you click on the things they're like picking also, up more gear drops? Yeah, the Move left is, is tutorials, but they're voice acted. Oh, yeah? Okay. And also, it gives me the tutorials for your characters. I mean, I guess I can use them, so it makes sense. Uh, the way it works is when we're in the lobby, 
uh, once we actually, once the game, once we know about our characters in advance instead of this one, uh, while we're in the lobby, we actually assign ownership of the characters. To oh, okay. Players. So if I don't feel like playing uh, Tarkus, then yeah, um, I remember can... there being a sniper dude. Oh, that sounds like be a lot of fun. Yeah. I assume that we always need um, Marcus. <laughs> I don't think you pick characters. I think you just I think just you assign who. Oh, I see. So it's um, in different missions, all different characters, etc. Yeah, or you might do the whole campaign with the four characters once they've all arrived. Okay. Oh, it looks like that orc unit did the fallback command because I saw the same icon yeah, pop up of his head and he ran away. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay up here while and uh, get the high ground of these guys. You might want to pull back. Or, oh, yeah, I mean, no, you are no. melee, but pull him back into my fire. You're too far ahead. It's a real mistake whenever I do my big attack, and then I, when, by the time they finally arrives on site, I'm like, I, I'm just charging into a pile of corpses because they've all <laughs> died already. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool, that's cool. I kind of, I've found that a lot of my no, space no, I marines... I plants tonight, it's cool. They tend to, like, well done, they get into position, but then they fidget, for lack of a better word. Like, they, they, like, get out of position, then get back into it, and then get out of position and get back into it. It's very silly. I dinged. You what? I dinged. I'm level two now. Oh. Oh, okay, so this is a supply crate that we can break open, and it has an item in it. This ah, is support item increase. Click. So my support item is my frag grenade. Yours is probably your group heal. Yeah. And uh, did you just get a extra heal just now? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So I got both a frag now grenade. Now we have four. And uh, so let me can just right-click on it from anywhere. Okay, cool. So now I have... Yeah. Um, just, just pick them up. It's like it's just like the game's just checking to see if you noticed it or not. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grenade this uh, tower over here because I think that... Um, Yep, I. That the ugly. tutorial was literally telling me to do that as I did it. <laughs> oh yeah, they all do. You you destroyed the thing, so they all the got exclamation points and ran away. Cool. So that's, that, so that's the runaway like this. That Wait, how far are you gonna run? Wait, uh, hang out. Wait, no, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Come back. Uh, it's okay. I'll just go ahead and beat the game while you're busy running away. Uh. Yeah, how long is this runaway animation for? Good work, Space Marine. Is he going back to the beginning of the game? Uh, I think that we didn't get... If you look, you're going back to that little, like, Washington, D.C. Yeah. on the map icon. He's going back to the original star thing we came from. Yep. I assume right. that that's basically the only checkpoint on this map, so that was the one. So can confirm, that's how you run away and avoid taking damage if you're about to die. You just but press you the X button it. and you fucking book it. Yeah, you really book it. Cool. Yeah, the mission's over. Cool. Mission success. <laughs> Improved chain squad. I wonder if we get like an A, B, C, D rank. Nope. Maybe. We do get EXP though. More health. That's I will say that. Bonus health and damage. I will say that one thing that's like really underrated about Warhammer oh, is they have amazing, amazing uh, spaceship designs. To spill yeah. Over to the entire like the These Imperial Navy is like the most underrated part of we must and underutilized part of the entire Warhammer lore. Yeah. Yep. I don't know which parts are used Drop and unused the really. On the uh, basically, the everything flag. is power armor. They use power. Whenever I learn more about the Skaven, the Skraven or whatever, I'm more entertained by them. Yeah. They are pretty cool. They're made up of like a coalition of a bunch of different like rattling races. They're pretty fun. Oh, man. Bird, how's your foot doing? It feels like somebody stabbed the top of my foot with a knife, but I also have a muscle cramp in the bottom of my foot at the same time. He wants us, he wants us to push into the orc's flank. <laughs> mm, orc flank. Right. So it's so fucking your, tasty. You, are you able to click your character to customize them? Uh, I can click. I can click on both Tarkus and uh, Marcus. Oh my god. <laughs> Tarkus and Marcus. Tarkus and Marcus. Yeah. Alrighty. So uh, I'll take the improved bolter. Quick, yeah. It looks like we we only have one of each. So I, I went and got the improved chain sword because my character has a very I didn't notice I didn't know until that end screen like we, when we were doing that you had a you had a range attack of seven and I had a range attack of two. Yeah, your character absolutely prioritizes melee. It's huge gap. 
All right, so it looks like the game really wants us to like pick up a couple of particular abilities. Like you're, you get two points, and you're two points shy of battle cry, and I'm uh, two points shy of taunt. So I guess we oh, might wow, as well pick at, those abilities, this right? Is a very Mass Effect One looking level up screen. Yeah, yeah. I this is definitely didn't find it at age. first. So you told me that it existed. I didn't look down yet to notice it there. Yep. So I'll pick up Let's taunt, see. and that will allow me to do. So what there's taunt health and health and... regen, range damage, uh, melee damage, and energy regen. So yeah, I probably specialize in melee here on out. Yep. And I specialize in stamina. All right. I'll take taunt because uh, the game really Ooh. wants me to do it. If I turn on battle cry, every single attack's a special attack that knocks people down and so on. Cool. And I can't you be knocked down. All right. And you basically activate like AOE barbarian Marcus rage. Mo, I keep forgetting. Cool. How do I use it though? Well, how do you use what? Oh no. Did my, did all of internet just turned off? Are you not able to hear me, Keith? Hello? Oh no. Oh no, that would explain why you were talking over me the whole time. I thought you were just being rude. Alrighty, huh. so we're gonna retake the Hamlet. We're gonna be Rosencrantz and Guildenstern all up in this shit. Yeah, let's do things. Yeah. To, yeah. The Badlands oh. communities east of Argus Settlement serve as a buffer between the desert winds and the... the... click. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hamlet! <laughs> Oh, Hamlet, you and the your hams. have taken over a hamlet outside Argus. This hamlet sits on a vital supply route, and a all of hamlet. Calderas could fall if we do not dislodge them. Sergeant Avatus and his squad of Devastator Space Marines held the hamlet alone, but they were finally overwhelmed. You must retake the hamlet and drive the orcs back. To aid in this, I am assigning Sergeant Cyrus and his squad of scouts to your command. His oh, those ha that hair. Prove invaluable. So that, the the uh, the briefing thing popped up when I clicked on it for you too? Yep. No, I, uh, I, I clicked on, I had to click on it to bring it up because of oh. course. Of course, that's okay. the one thing. The one thing that's not synchronized also has voice acting. What of do you course. know? That's uh, great for our, our Let's Play purposes. <laughs> anyway, uh, did you notice well, that get, Cyrus We're going to get, get some improved power armor that's going to spoil the fact that we get Avatus and Thaddeus. <laughs> <laughs> names the, the characters we're gonna get Thaddeus did you notice Thaddeus. that Cyrus has Russell Crowe hair Cyrus? yeah, Sergeant Cyrus where's Cyrus? Okay. No, 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 don't worry about it, we'll, we'll, we'll find what? him I'm so confused to start okay. the mission De deploy oh, there's a countdown <laughs> why? The lobby. There, was, there wasn't a countdown earlier I don't know. Oh, Sergeant Tarkus, that. Tactical Squad, a veteran of centuries of campaigning. Tarkus leads his tactical marines into combat with confidence and steely demeanor. <laughs> Ooh, slow to anger. <laughs> we should be out stopping you like we did to the town. Wait, did you hear something? Target acknowledged. Cyrus to Armageddon. In position. There's Cyrus. There's Sniper Boy. Yep. Cyrus dead. I found, found him. him. Space <clears throat> Marines, heartening news. Abatus, the squad leader who defended the hamlet, is still alive. The orcs incapacitated him, but apparently could not finish the job. Abatus is too stubborn to die. So it was see, Cyrus. An orc guard position stands between you and Sergeant Abatus. Approach with stealth and eliminate the greenskins. Why is there's that word again? <laughs> they just like to, they just aren't nice. <laughs> People aren't nice in the world of Warhammer. What? No. No. Why? Why do they? They? Why do they give us a new character one second in, into the round without giving us permission to choose who controls them? Um, <laughs> it's pretty great, isn't it? I instantly have th Cyrus the moment after we choose our party. <laughs> It's not even like a surprise we earned over the course of the mission, like we rescued him. He's just instantly there. He was there from the beginning, but he was <laughs> invisible until this moment. Surprise! Uh, are we supposed to use um, Cyrus for this next section? It looks like it. Uh, maybe. Uh, it looks like we're supposed to go tower. around that backside. Or am I supposed to throw a grenade in there? I'm uh, probably supposed to toss a grenade in that building. Well, I have an invisibility thing, and then I can plant a demolition charge. 
Oh, so you so Cyrus is gonna have to go around the right side and uh plant a demolition charge. Or he's gonna go straight forward. I mean I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it says move Cyrus here while infiltrated, it straight up tells me where to go. Yeah. A demolition charge will bring that tower down. A demolition charge will bring that tower Ow, we're getting hit. Ow. Oh wow, Cyrus took an Ouchie. ass load of dams. Ouchies. There they go. Oh, that Excellent was a quick level up. Cyrus. Avatus's position is on your tactical display. Revive him so that he may join your attack. Oh, already? I, yeah. All right. I guess I get Avatus then, right. probably. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you try clicking on him. Maybe you'll give it to him. Uh, you're supposed to revive him. You have the revive oh, ability. Oh, do I have to? I think we can just click on it, or is it going to use my ability? Oh, yeah. You can just right click on him. It looks. And then there's a there's a timer for it. There we are. Uh, damn orcs found another pass through the hills. There is a relay beacon near your position, Commander. Hey, you got him. Secure it, and we can deploy. Cool. So it looks like Abatus is another, um, Very well. another heavy. Yeah, it's another heavy unit. So he's. A... It's so hard to pick out who the heavies are in the Warhammer universe. <laughs> yeah, because they're all heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Every so... character is hyper armored and absurd. It looks like if I just stand near the bacon, uh, I will my squad will regenerate over time. I assume that I'm probably supposed to move Avatus like into this little building over here. Like if you look at Cyrus, you're like the only universe where this is the only universe where that would be like the the, the quick and lithe sniper armor. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, bunker or something. Yeah, I moved Avatus into a bunker, so um, ah. that well here we go. Oh, interesting. So, if Avatus hits a squad for long enough, they get a suppressed uh, debuff, it looks. Ah, because of his chain gun. I, yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that effect. Yeah, I played yeah, this game. I played the first, um, I want to say at least three or four missions. I didn't get very far into the game. So, I'm yeah. sort of half playing dumb as we play this a little bit, but now we're actually yeah. doing the stuff they legitimately don't remember. So... There you are. I played far enough to encounter the other faction. So I'm going to... I'm just going to uh, kite these guys. The so I'm going to run forward and pull them into <laughs> Abatus's, uh, uh fire. Never mind. <laughs> That's what I was going to do until they turned Scar out to be Humans scared of shit. All right. Uh, we have another uh, bunker. So I think that I'm just going to hop these guys up to this north one. <laughs> and we exit the most, inc the most inconvenient direction. Yeah, that that was kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, I got to the teleportarium. Oh yeah, that's when I stopped playing this game. I got to a, a mission where I had to rescue an, a, a building called a teleportarium, and I was like, I'm <laughs> fucking done. I can't because of the name. The, the name. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> call anything a teleportarium and have me take it seriously. <laughs> oh, this is yeah, actually I mean... kind of a. The Warhammer universe is not meant to be taken seriously, I hope. There's a, uh, there's, so the game is telling me to set up Abatus right there. I'm actually going to go north of that and take that and use that bunker. That looks like a lot, um, even better of a position. They might require you to, though. Well, fuck them. To, like, continue the story. Continue the story. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll move Abatus up there and then I'll move Tarkus, uh, to the spot where Abatus was supposed to be. Oh, that, damn it. That the battle cry ability also uses every single bit of my meter. I'm gonna fight you guys with my face. Uh, let me know if you need help. I'm a space marine. I'm a big man. <laughs> I'm taking a shit ton of damage. I need to back off. Oh, but Tark is taking not. a shit ton of damage. That's because you're yeah. the commander. I'm, I'm the commander. I'm too good for wounds. <laughs> All right, so Abatus is still up there kicking ass. He hasn't hardly taken any damage. Tarkus is about yeah. to be well, fully Cyrus healed. Cyrus is also with Abatus. Yeah, so Tarkus is a... Uh... Oh, I can load multiple squads in a single building? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. When you were right. in the first building, uh, Smo was with you. I'm oh, dead. okay. Uh, I can probably revive you. <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. Uh, I could probably revive you with Tarkus right now. I will I suppress these assholes with my suppressing fire that's shooting the tank in the side. <laughs> they still became suppressed anyway. Gotcha. I made horrible mistakes before. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Ow. My 
Out of my face. <laughs> I are they running away? <laughs> what are we saying? Ay, Chihuahua. <laughs> Ay, Dios mio. Dios mio. No. Los grande orcos. <laughs> orcos Ooh, muy mad. Orc man. <laughs> <laughs> What, what are we doing? <laughs> Nobody knows. It doesn't matter. Adjust your All right. I, right now, the audience is just thankful it's not puns. <laughs> They're like, well, it's not Man, puns, but it's not good. Well, that's, that's interesting. Activated if I click between the pillars, the, the dots on the floor indicate that they're going to automatically take cover behind. Look at that. They take cover behind individual pillars. Yeah, so... They, that... pick, they just pick, they just pick cover somewhere in a radius of where you click. Yeah, it's actually really annoying if you have a, a four-man squad like this because I've noticed most cover is div divvied up into threes. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, really frustrating. Like if you look at this rock up up front, uh, three of them will go in front of the rock and one guy will go in front of the wall. To repel the attack. This oh weird, my suppressing fire is a limited use. I guess they ran out of ammo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull uh, Tarkus uh, up into the same building with Avatus because why the fuck not? I think, I think, confusingly, because it's a, it's the icon for leveling up, which is why it's confusing. Uh, I think the arrow just is your Tarkus icon. <laughs> um, I he's think, like the forward dude. I think. Yeah. Well, I have two things that are arrows, right? Yeah. Uh -oh. We have a uh, demolition charge. You got both of the buttons that people give to indicate uh <laughs> all your guys are flying. Uh yeah, I lost uh I, I lost the Avatus Devastators, but it was Avatus itself. Yeah, so. I, have, I have two units that indicate this is an that, like this is an acceptable thing to know it unit. Yeah. As an icon. And you have two icons that mean I leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> you are one hundred percent correct. Uh, Cyrus is about to die. You need to get him out of there. Oopsie. Cyrus is dead. Uh, Spoiler is that I actually hard. am not good at, at these games. <laughs> then why didn't <laughs> you put go. it on, like, the hard difficulty? Because hard... <laughs> Fair. <laughs> My soldiers, no. I needed them to other to take bullets for me. Okay, oh, well, we're all, we're all good. Uh, I was just thinking, like, uh, multiplayer makes it easier on a number of, a number uh, of ways. Oh, that's true. Even by multitasking standards, but I gotta keep an eye on those health bars that are just hiding on the far right of the screen. Alright, uh, lure that guy closer towards our, our uh, tower here. Yeah. Uh, th by that guy, I mean all the guys. There's just, there's just differences from game to game of like how useful the health, or how noticeable the health bars are in games. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Wait, when I healed, I regenerated my soldiers. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Shit. Uh, Abacus is taking Beard. a lot of damage. I need to pull him back. Suppressing fire! Y'all are suppressed now. I bet you feel silly. <laughs> I'm gonna check a grenade with uh, Tarkus real quick. Like you notice how, like from game to game, how noticeable your health bar is is like massively different. Yep. Oh, I was in the explosion. I didn't think I about that. I did not think that that would hurt you. <laughs> I had made a mistake. I didn't realize that. Uh, <laughs> that was a surprise for everyone. Uh, yeah. I, huh. Uh, yeah, I had no idea that. Yeah, he, there was friendly fire from my grenades. Like, I always like how Dark Souls has big, meaty health bars. Yeah. <laughs> and this one has this health bar. Yeah. But this one has, like, a series of micro bars. Admittedly, there's a whole bunch of characters. You just have to be better at RTSs, basically. Wait, that was that was it? That was, that was the mission. Huh. Evidently. 